And we're here. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't- I don't- I don't remember the last time I logged on. I think I did a bit of terraforming and then I started, um... Oh, hey, Chaos! I did a bit of terraforming and then... I think I was collecting stuff for projectile protection armor. Because when I start making my sets of armor, I literally like leave these fully maxed out books right here. Because I need six enchantments on the helmet and seven on the boots. And then four... Is it six? Yeah, six, seven, and then four on the, ch on the pants and four on the chest plate. Which, who needs Thorns projectile protection armor? No one, but I realized I could make it and I hadn't yet, so I decided that that would be my burden. And that's why I only have one level instead of like 50. Um, what was I doing? Yeah. I'm like, why do I only have four of my eight tools I always keep on me like some kind of madman? Oh yeah, the wall of Tommy heads. In it. Yeah, I haven't really- I keep, um, like, logging on, streaming, and then not logging back on to do the things I say I'm gonna do offline. Cause, uh, king shit. I'm busy, uh, not doing literally anything of substance. As you do. Hello! I think hello! Oh, no habla espanol. This is an English only stream only because I am not fluent enough in Spanish and that's literally the only language I've attempted to learn. And I didn't do very well because I had an awful, awful teacher who was like one of those teachers who like, I don't know, he was just like weirdly like, I don't know, entitled for some reason? I was like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, you speak Spanish in a public school. Like, you teach Spanish in a public school that has two languages because it's a tiny-ass school. I don't know what kind of superiority you think you have. He wasn't even a good teacher. <laughs> like, man. Um... I keep like looking at things and expecting me myself to react to them like I'm doing the hardcore roleplay thing. So I'm like, what is this? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I do know what this is. <laughs> um, what was I gonna do? So I want to use bones um, as some like pillar blocks in this area. And then I'll use, um, I think, dark oak fencing just kind of around. And either I'm gonna leave the bones as they are, or put maybe some smooth quartz pillars. I don't know yet. But for now, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these without saddles on them, because they look cooler. Yeah, you definitely look cooler, bud. And then I'll bring them over like one by one, because, well, I could grab a shit ton of leads, huh? Yeah, and I'm probably gonna have a barrel somewhere, maybe like just a pile of barrels, and then I'll leave a bunch of leads and saddles in there, because I won't need um, anything else, really. If I bring over the donkeys as well, I might as well put some chests and, um, like, I think it's golden carrots as well as golden apples that you can breed them with. I don't know. There's just so many grindstones, I don't know why. I think someone was goofing with some coding over here and then we just get some wild shit. Yeah, you get one of these fuckers. And then you... <laughs> it's got like speed a thousand. And then they drop, um... They drop the same loot crate barrel thing as if you're looking at like, I think a heart, a like, treasure chest map. I don't know. It's like ridiculous. It's one of the most ridiculous things. I don't know what the super smelter is, really. I don't know what it was for smelting. It just kind of popped up one day and I hadn't even noticed. And then there's just a ton of shit right here. 
Which, like, I can get infinite saddles as well, like, you just need a leather worker villager, really. I don't know, there's so many chests. Parts of these areas just gradually become a mess, and that's fine. Uh, there's one sign missing. Hate it here. Oh yeah. I have been adding gradually more pickles, some sea pickles, to light up the area because I'm a good Samaritan. Otherwise known as an obsessive perfectionist, even when it's a multiplayer world. <laughs> Okay, buds. Um, I'm gonna have to ask all of you to disengage. You can stay here, and you get- no, you don't- you know. You go here. No. Oh, life is pain. You go over here, okay? And then you guys know, and then you, and you in particular, will be here. And then you, and you- Jesus. Lord. And you- Where's is her? I love uh, knowing exactly what I'm doing at all times. I have so many horses here. Every horse girl's dream, my nightmare. Um, here, let's just bring uh, three at first, huh? And. Okay, yeah, that's definitely fine. I just want to bring him over. Is that a phantom? It's a phantom, huh? Why is my life pain and suffering? Bro. Oh, I do not want to accidentally sh- Oh my god, of course. Oh my gosh. I'm in hell, I'm in hell, I'm in hell. Hey, you. Idiot boy. That is not representative of my feelings on Phantom the character. And person. Okay, bud. You can do it. I promise. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay, all of you. All of you. Get. This is like literally the opposite of what I wanted to happen. Okay, you idiots. I have like infinite of these. I do not care. I, like, could not care any less than I do for these turtles. The first few? Maybe. But then now, I'm just like, okay, I am heartless. I will murder you for extra seagrass. Okay, guys. Guys. Oh, my goodness. Bo oh. Oof. Oof. I might just end up naming them, like, literally just different, um, like, anatomies, like, bones. Maybe not all human bones, because there are special bones for other creatures, you know? There are some special ones for birds. Okay, bud. Okay, why did you have to go and break your lead like that, bro? You're just- oh my gosh. Are you causing problems on purpose? Is that it? Okay, all three of you. This way. Oh my god, don't push each other. I swear. <sighs> I am at my limit already with you. No, I just want- Okay, bro. We are going this way, okay? This is not hard to conceptualize. Are you stuck on a lantern or something? Oh my gosh. I'm... I can't even kill you things because you're not even dead. Like, you're undead. What do you want me to do? You guys have so many problems. As soon as I get them in, I'm gonna end up sleeping, huh? Oh, you can see it from here. That's a nice view, huh? Looks pretty sick. Okay, guys. We can do this. This is not that hard. There is literally no one else on the server to cause inconvenience. I promise you can do this, guys. Please have mercy. I, w I might have to bring them one by one. And I will literally suffer for it. Okay, bud. You can be here. 
and I will take your saddle and chill. And then you guys, oh my god, you are brain dead. You don't even have a brain. I can see that you don't have a brain, and yet still I'm shocked. Okay, guys. Okay. Listen. Good. Well done, King. Finally. Yeah, we're all sleeping now. We're sleeping. We're sweeping. Crazy sleep mode. What? How? How? You did not. How? 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 How are you able to get out when no one else has gotten out? Show me. How'd you get out when no one else has gotten out, huh? Dumb idiot boy? I, I didn't mean to shift onto you, okay, bud? Well, now I'm just here. Okay. You guys need to not be like this, TM. There is just some garbage in here, and that's just a fact of life. I don't want this here, and I want... Where'd the bone blocks go? Okay. I will be using them. Well, this part, I probably won't. Well, I might um, use, like, stone instead to, like, brace up against the hill. But then the rest of it, maybe, like, around... <sighs> thing is, I don't want to look like it's oh, it's connected. So I might have to have, like, some kind of path thing here. But I do know I want, like, here. Maybe four high? No, definitely too tall. Yeah, I think three is fine. Three, and then like... Hmm. It looks better, one, two, three, four. See, look, it looks better when it's like this because it's like supporting this. If I put this like here, then you can see it doesn't like go into the ground. It doesn't make it feel as if it's, um, Supporting anything. It looks like it's just placed right on top of it for no reason So I guess I'm ending up having to do this instead um, Well, is there like an average I'm putting between them? This is Four that's four. That's one two three four. Okay one two three four. We've decided on a Path, okay one two three one, two, three, four. Well, I don't need it here, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three. Okay, so around that is what I want. And then I'm thinking the rest of it maybe. So I'll have cobblestone and stone like here, like, and also some of the dead coral like bracing against the wall, right? And then I have this here, and then maybe it's got like a gate arch right here. And then this way it could be just um, maybe a straight shot of fencing, or... No, I might have to do more of this kind of wall instead. But I want to put maybe an archway here, so one, two... I want to leave at least two or three for the middle. Maybe three is best, because then I can just one, two... And it goes like one, two, because you have to have at least three or else they're going to um, definitely like. Okay, yeah, you're definitely going to like bonk your head if you're on more than three. But let me look. Do I have my quartz here or do I need to grab quartz? Huh? Oh, of course. I have to hop over my own fences. Um, Did I bring any? 
Got a lot of concrete powder, no quartz. Um, okay, well, let's just go to... Because I'll also need a stone cutter. And is there any raw quartz? Not raw quartz, smooth quartz is what I want. I want smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs. I only need like a stack maybe at most, and then not a lot of slabs either. But I might as well have them, you know? Um, this can go back actually. Um, yeah, I don't have a quick warp to the barn really closest is doing to the warp to the head shop and then the warp just here which is my personal home warp and you've got all the foxes and they're being such darlings and then boat sheep and the smoothed out field looks way better i just very much enjoy it all smoothed out and, my, and like knowing that it's easier to use as a crop field I might- okay, so, call me crazy. I'm taking this one down and moving this to the side so that's less associated with the barn itself, okay? So we want it, like, do I want it in line or- no, I want it one in, at least. So then we have one, two, three, four, two, three, at least, and then one, two, three, at least. No, it'll look short compared to the rest if I don't, um, make it four tall and then go in. And with bone blocks, I like that they're directional like logs. I like when things are directional. It makes, though of course if you want to use just the color and texture itself, then it's always like hell because you're like, oh god. Oh, I'm not a fan of that at least but i don't know what to do about this aside from perhaps a stair to which side well there's no way i can place a stair maybe i just need to well, like you can see this one like it might have to be wider than it is so maybe considering these are one two three four yeah, like, they're pretty wide, so maybe it might be best if I go like this. Winging builds is so fun, they say. No one says that. If anyone says that, they're a goddamn liar. Okay, we want this to go instead like this. And I don't want any of this here. Well, but yeah, if you're riding a horse, you gotta- you can't even use these sides. I want some kind of archway, though. And I don't want it to look too blocky, because this is obviously very rounded, and if it's very blocky, then it's obviously, like, gonna... Hmm. What's something I could use? I could do, like, one part of this, like, going this way or this way. Like, a curl on itself, like, it's just one rib that's kind of out of alignment over here. Maybe. But then I'd have to, um... Okay, let's see how I did it this time. So I did it one, two, three, four, of course, and then up, and then, okay. So if I want it here, one, two, three, four. Up. And then we go up. One, two, three. Up. Up again. And then one, two, three. None of this or this or this or this. And then... This one just goes like that. Hmm. 
And then I can use a, um, a like post, a wooden post. Where is my, there it is. Like as if it's being supported. And, hmm, well, I want, well, I didn't, okay, yeah, I can't cover or make any of this more curved than it is. Okay, but I can, where is my, yeah, so definitely, like, I brought these out, but I won't be able to use this quartz. Like, it just, I can't make it fit. It kind of looks like a moon, a little bit, like it's some attempt at a crescent moon, which is interesting. But, um, and then, like, maybe here along this side, it'll kind of waver, waver a little, but it's going to be mostly, um, stone, cobblestone, and then, um, maybe a bit of andesite and tuff and some coral. It's very hard. You've got a lot of gray, blo gray blocks to choose from, which, of course, I always love having more gray blocks to work with because you're able, you're able to, like, work more on texture and figuring out what exactly you want. You know? And the plugin just, sometimes the plugin just does not work, and you'll love to see it, really. Um, I'll definitely need more, um, I, d I just don't have any plain wood. Where's, okay. I'll have to either grab some dark oak from here, or... <sighs> mine more, which is annoying. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Because I was not going to waste my time. I still haven't finished filling this up. I just, it's just the um, yellow banners because I think, yeah, someone took like a stack of the non binary ones, so that I still need more yellow. And then someone, uh, I think it was Toby, started working on the sheep farm, like revamping it, so I don't think it's producing any wool right now. But that's just how it be. Sometimes that do indeed be how it be. Sometimes. Yes, yeah, sir. There's just a mule on the ground. That mule just lives like that. Which reminds me, I do need to name some of my uh, friends in the hardcore series. Because I did, in fact, get a mule. Which I had forgotten completely about. Uh, huh. Hmm. I really just want fences, like, give me all of your fencing. I will need all of it for the coming war. Um, I'm thinking I might have it, like, literally do this instead. Which, I don't know. Hmm. I might have to shift around the terrain a bit when I'm... Adding that gosh darn terraforming. Nothing like custom terraforming to make you really regret everything in your life and all the decisions that led you to your point in life. This is what happens when you custom terraform. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Okay. This was a bad choice, and I recognize that. I recognize my bad choices in life. I make many. Okay. This one, very bad, in fact. Rancid. It doesn't even look like the bones are there for any reason. Like, why would I put bones there? See, this looks intentional. Um, do I want... See, that looks much better, and this looks like... 
and then we can. Oh. I don't like have any dirt on me, and I'll have to replace all this dirt anyway because I'm going to have to. Here, this goes there. Replace it all, anyway. But for now, it's just like I need to have at least something, you know. Interesting kind of, interesting concept. No, I don't like that. It's got to go in. See, it's all okay. Yeah, that looks much better. And then I just need to do that, so I might need to bring some andesite and tough, because I think I have everything else I might need. Um, this will go here. I don't need any tinted glass anymore, so I'll just bring that back home. Um, is that- yeah, that's the top chest. And then I'll need- which one of these- I know one of these will have some andesite in it, like, it's inevitable that I have- yep. Some stacks of that, and then let's go- I think I've got some in the quarry. Um, that's stone, that's gravel, no. Yeah. Okay. And then we go- Let's try, um, see how fast this is. Sir? Okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's about better, probably, than trying to warp elsewhere. How do you, how did this one keep escaping? Where did it go? Hello? Why is there just one escaping? What did I do wrong? Where did this horse go? Oh no, I lost one of them. Where did it go? Horsey. Oh no, I'm about to head on one of my hardcore arcs where I'm just like crying a little bit over some kind of horse. Where did it go? Did it go? It don't, they don't naturally go underwater because they sink. Of course it's in the woods, probably. Where could that horse have gone? Hello? I'm in pain, I'm suffering. Where did this horse go? I'm out here trying to collect them to make sure there's no horses wandering the wilds and I just lose a straight- straight- How do you lose a horse? You forget to cherish her. Where'd she go? Dear God. How do you lose a horse? Why was it that specific pen as well? I didn't notice any- li like literally any differences. There's no differences. It's the exact same. Is it something to do with the way they're oriented? Why do I have an escape master horse? Why can none of you attain what he could? Pain, suffering. There you are. You think you can escape from me? I'm just going to put you in a different pen. And never figure out what that one is, because there are 12 pens and I only need 11, so... You live here now, you little escape artist. You think... You think you can handle me? You can't. Um, what do I need? I need... I don't want... 
all of this on me right now. I want... <clears throat> Do I even have stone and cobble? I've got some cobble. Okay. Um, well, I don't really remember what textures of this will be good. Um, maybe all of them? Might as well flex and use all of them. Um, and then I'll grab... Did I, did I put back the stone cutter? I'll bring it. You did not escape again, did you? Okay. He is contained. He is contained forever now. I've contained him. SCP containment breach. Solved. Okay, I'll definitely need- oh god, I did not consider how much variation of that I'll need. Oh, pain, suffering, actually- oh no! I'll need much more, oh my god. I'll need the andesite variants as well, huh? Hmm, considering how small the wall is though, I'm worried about it being too noisy. I know I want stone, because stone looks good, and then cobblestone will look good with a variation. So if I... But is tough, does tough work well with it? Yeah, tough makes it look grayer. Okay. Now, do I want... Okay, I'll just use my self-touch, just in case. Um... Oh, pain, 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 pain. Okay, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't want fire coral. Fire coral is a bit much. Oh no, I like that actually. Yeah, that's definitely much better than I anticipated. Okay. This will be like... I know how to build. I can build. Hi! I'm currently building on a, um... On one of the multiplayer servers I play on with some friends. This is a, uh... My skeletal barn. And then I'm working on the pasture right now. Yeah. In here I've got, um, like, end level everything, except we're not allowed in the end, so I don't have elytra, of course. Yeah, it's one of those- it's an idea that I really like, um... I'm glad I've managed to do it so well. From what I planned. Um... Oh dear, yeah, I'll definitely need stone variants, huh? Well, okay, so I'll need at least, like, I'm trying to, like, brain this well, okay. This, like this, and then this can be my extra stairs as well. And then I want some of these to also be slabs, and then some of these can also be stairs, and then some of these can even be walls to spice it up. Um, let's try half stairs, walls... I definitely need andesite, so... Slab. I don't want andesite walls, though, so I'll settle for andesite stairs. Life is pain. 
This is very difficult because I just have so many different blocks to work with right now. Which usually you don't want, you don't complain about having so many blocks, but also I'm just like, oh gosh, I have to choose. I have to make choices. Where'd my um there's my tough. The tough really helps here actually. I used to not like tough, and then my friend um M was like, I love tough, it's one of my favorite new blocks, and I'm like, oh. And then I reconsidered it, and then I was like, yeah, it does actually look pretty good. And, like, see here, it, like, makes these look grayer in comparison. Because, like, out, out here, it's, like, it does, it will look gray. But it also just has this, like, I don't know, tone to it that I'm not a fan of. But over here, with this, it makes it look gray. And I like that. And I'm also going to texture the whole ground to be um, like concrete powder and gravel and such. So all this grass is going to go, but it's going to take some doing, of course. Um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, I never even like, have I haven't even really built with this stuff before and then finally I am and I'm like, oh, that didn't look good and then I put tough next to it and I'm like, oh, okay, okay, actually, I've decided it's good now and I'm actually not a fraud. <laughs> okay, um... It is fun to see it, like, fading. That's... Here, I'll just put this in my offhand. Actually, I hate having food in my offhand. I've decided it. <laughs> yeah, I ended up accidentally getting a roll- basically getting a roll of, like, I have all the endgame stuff and I'm sharing it all the time and I'm like... They jokingly call me the fills of Minecraft as a server and I'm just sitting here like, oh my god. I'm a fraud. I don't know how to do, like, PvP and I don't know. A lot of things but I do know a lot actually I'm always gonna think I don't know as much as I do but that's just because everyone always thinks that hmm I think I want this to be stone over here and then it'll rise up over here as well some stone Yeah, it's like a little like retaining wall kind of. And then I might actually just do like cobblestone wall maybe. Maybe I could make that work. I don't know. Okay, this like this. And then this will go like Okay. I have no need for this anymore, so time to bring out all the other extra variants. Ugh. <laughs> this is so much. So many blocks. I can't even I can barely fit all my tools. Turns out I was the tool. Oh yeah, that stuff, I haven't really built a lot with jungle, honestly. I just like, I tend to stick to um, some very specific palettes. And I didn't really think about um, All the other like potential blocks to use I stuck to a very rustic palette for a while as I was starting out building really but that was mostly because I first started like getting interested in building because of um Grian so of course I stuck to a lot of rustic things because it was back when he like jokingly only like he did only rustic stuff for a while yeah I'm getting more used to especially because I'm able to play, um, like, like, playing in creative, it, I'm just, I never get too invested in creative, mostly because I just don't have things like, um, world edit or voxel sniper or anything to work with, so I'm just thinking, like, well, I'm wasting my time if I don't use those things. Um, but... I like building in survival a lot. So, I enjoy being able to build, especially in 
somewhere where I can have literally like end game access access to things. Yeah, I haven't really touched creative in like so long. To be fair, I used to do literally like the same exact kind of build like almost every time. And it was kind of silly, but I did refine my skills that way and I did at least get creative with the interiors. Uh, but it was basically just these mushrooms. So then I ended up building one on this server. Another mushroom is like my first bigger build. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't built with mods at all. I'm sure there's some where if I saw like the stuff in them, I'd be like, oh no, oh no, I can't play in vanilla anymore. But yeah, I built a um, mushroom over here. They I asked them, do you guys want a witch tower or do you want a mushroom? And then someone said, why not both? So then now it's got a tower and then it's mushroom shaped and then has a mushroom top. This is what happens when they say both. <laughs> but yeah, I built a lot of things on here. These these things no. I rebuilt I like kind of fixed up this area, this courthouse. And I made this uh panda sanctuary right here. And then my pride and joy is that windmill. Oh yeah, the Gerard Way boss bar. That was um so in because there is some roleplay on the server, that's um that's our god, Juice. That's Juice. And then his son is uh, Gerard Way, the Wither, who just lives in here. Sometimes, yeah, it just says, to son. And then there's actually like a um, whole record thing of how long people can stay in there, like hanging out with Gerard, which is very funny. Literally, I was, I was one of the first people to like log onto the server, so I got a spot like right here. That's my little like beginning house. And I remember when this was just like a bedrock box. Oh yeah, the wall of Tommy in it had. Sometimes people just do things. And it's like, okay, yeah. Oh, and this is the little pride booth I made. Some people made some pride flags. Uh, I think one of the people with creative did it. So then I just started replicating it by making, getting a, gathering a bunch of wool and replicating them so that we'd have a bunch of it. Oh my god. We had three cannon gods, um, but the one- so Nerd is one of them up top, um, and Nerd is busy, I think, talking to space aliens still, and Scarf is canonically, I think, mortal, but, like, is gone, and Juice is the only active god, and basically, uh, currently they're the main antagonist, kind of, because they did, like, manipulate people into, a. Uh, blowing up part of a city but yeah <laughs> sometimes that's how it be oh yeah uh we're very mature on the server i swear a bunch of mature young adults i'm only responsible for the uwu that's the only thing I'm responsible for. Everything else is not me. Yeah, it used to say uh, penis pequeños. Because it literally just started off as like a stone brick sign that said penis pequeño. And me, who had built, um, oh yeah, I built this bridge, but I had also built um, this little cute um, sand castle over here for farming turtles, you know? And then suddenly I wake up one day and I go out and I'm like, wow, that does say Penis Pequeño on it. And I was like, wow, guys, uh, the view, my property value has gone down so far. And then now it's basically tanked. No one wants to buy this. I can't flip this house. <laughs> but it's very funny, to be fair. And the Sandcastle has one of my, uh, my old flag before I changed to um, a different skin with the rainbow spirals on it. There's a lot of things going on on this server. Sometimes God just has a zoo that they never finish. That's fine. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. And I'm basically the one who's doing all the community projects. And the skeleton barn, which I have basically named the emo barn. Oh my gosh. Pain. Okay. I've named it the emo barn, basically. 
And that technically is a community project as well, because I made a project of collecting all the skeletal horses I could find. And so I have a bunch of skeletal horses over by the uh, stables that I made. And now I need a different stable and barn to be able to keep all the skeletal skeleton horses, because there are like 11 in total, not counting my own um, skeleton horse. And then I made some other community projects, like this is a public blacksmith, so it's got little tiny basic auto smelters. And then I stored it with my own coal. I don't think so. I think it's just a natural chance that the like horse trap thing will spawn where you just see one like un like random skeleton horse and then during a thunderstorm you walk towards it and then lightning strikes it and then you get like I think four to five maybe six of like archers on them on the skeletal horses. But other than that I don't think there's a way to actually naturally spawn them. I'm sure some of the people in creative have goofed around and spawned a few. I know there's some people's pets who are literally just like creative spawned like nonsense but yeah I make a habit of trying to do everything basically as vanilla as possible even if it's a big tr build like this tree that I did which I had to replace all the leaves once we got 1.17 because azalea leaves are much better in the swamp <laughs> Which I made all these like little trees once I realized how good the azalea leaves looked. And I was like, I can't resist. I must continue making trees. And then I made like f four, five, six. Yeah, I love them. And then like over here, oh my gosh, with these little azalea trees. I love making little bit, little like secrets and builds. Because like there's so much stuff going on. Like I made these underwater ruins and people might not even realize that's like built to be like this was a house, this was a house, this is a path, and that was a farm and all that. And then there's like little secrets inside that like reward people for actually going and investigating. So you can have a little tree house inside it. Which is so cute. I'm obsessed with little details. Like I made um like a kind of catacombs dungeon area under my big arena that I made and it's got so many little details in it that I'm like wow okay no one's gonna notice this especially if they're doing like lore and running around and focusing on trying not to like goof up <laughs> but yeah there are a lot of stories like especially with the arena build like I kind of formatted it in a way where it was like it, it took me months to make that, and then promptly we have never used it, and it's probably one of the bigger finished builds. <laughs> but it's one of uh, the things I'm proudest of. It's like the biggest build I've ever made. And it's got like these this catacombs under it that you can secretly find, and it's like filled with all this stuff. Which is fine. I think it's just fun that it's just like sitting there, because it's like a restored ruins. So in lore, I went and restored those ruins. And then people eventually will be like, hey, why are, the, why are these here? And then I'll be the one who's like, yeah, that's been around for a while. And they won't realize like, oh yeah. So all this stuff has been just insidiously sitting under here for a while under our feet and we didn't know. <laughs> Which might just make it even better. Oh, I'll need some torches, huh? I love torches, love grabbing so many torches. I love having lighting issues. The server's on um, 1.17 still, mostly just because, I don't know, Mine Hut's really dumb. Which, of course, I think we all regret using Mine Hut um, for this server, but still having issues trying to get like the files for the server itself so we don't have to use Mine Hut. Currently, we're just vibing, though, on 1.17. It's Mine Hut and Adernos are both pretty bad. Adernos is a bit better, mostly because you don't have to be stuck in a hub world trying to start up your own world. You can just start it up from a website. But then that also means that not everyone who's whitelisted on the server can start it up. Instead, you have to have one specific person do it. And like, I don't know. It's just a whole mess. Huh. What else was I gonna do? Well, I guess I'll do this wall, which I kind of want it to not be exactly a straight line. 
Okay, I don't need this. And, uh, there's so many things in my inventory that I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, sometimes they're just like bad, bad hosting services. And of course, they're the ones that are keep um, like bothering you to pay, even if you're like using it for free. And then there are, of course, ones that are very good when you do pay for them. Hmm. Yeah, as long as it's like decent hosting and doesn't bother you with ads, I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah, I haven't like... Some of my friends were like shocked that I only played modded Minecraft once and that was like literally like six years ago that I played like one modded Minecraft like it was a huge like one of those huge Minecraft packs where you're like I don't know what to do with all of these mods you just threw at me especially because I've never played modded before so I just played around with Botania and then ended up the server ended up dying because it was like me and a few friends that I had when we were like 13 or something and it's like okay guys like if you throw someone straight into the middle of like I don't know crazy craft or something like, one of those big packs that has all those mods and they don't have a direct, like, line of things to do. Like, if they're on stone block or something. Or, um, sky block. Then it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. There's so many things and, like, all these things are trying to kill me if you're doing, like, RL craft. And it's like, I'm I'm just a little guy. I don't know what to do. Can I mine wood? N uh, no? No, I can't mine wood? Okay, I guess I'll die. <laughs> like, ugh. Pain, suffering. Sometimes, like, the difficulty challenge is obvious, like, like, it's obviously good for some people who already understand it, but for a newcomer, it's like, I don't know what to do, and this just makes me feel stupid. <laughs> like, why, why would I, how would I intuitively know what to do in any of these situations? Like, no one would. Um, what is I looking, tough, that's what I was looking for. I was like, where's that one block that makes us look better? Tough. My beloved. Yeah, I definitely- if I- if I ever do get into mods, I think I might end up, like, starting off with something very simple like Origins, where you can, like, pick one thing that changes your aspects of gameplay. And maybe there'll be a few more things, but it's, like, not the end of the world. Like, biomes are plenty. Like, a lot of biomes. That's nice. I like biomes. I won't get overwhelmed by just having biomes there. But a bunch of other things, I might end up being like, well, I don't know what all of this is, and it just makes me feel dumb, and I don't like feeling dumb, so I'm not gonna play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen some of the biomes, especially, um... I can't remember if it was- if that was the one. Oh, I forgot- I always forget that Bop's an emote. It's like the one of those dumb automatic emotes where it's like, dude, I'm not even using, like, better Twitch TV or something. Um, I think- Oh, no. But yeah, definitely, like, when they add more variation and, like, more blocks, but it's not, like, an overwhelming, like, oh, you're never gonna figure out literally everything in this game now kind of amount, then I'm like, I don't know what we're doing here, guys. Like, why am I here if I can't, like, figure out the game and actually be good at it? <laughs> Some mod packs are, like, intuitive and well-made, but sometimes it just requires like being made for a specific group or having like a well-made introduction or guide somewhere yeah i just want to play block game and not feel like a full idiot trying to figure this all out like i'm not like 10 anymore i can't i don't accept being bad at games <laughs> Oh, but I can get away with making some of this a bit lower. Oh my gosh, Cuphead. 
Yeah. I got like that literally like I can be so bad at a game like I couldn't get past the tutorial of Grand Theft Auto 5 like the driving part and I was like wow I hate it here and then they had no way of skipping the tutorial or anything and I'm like I just want to do things and I couldn't get past the tutorial of I think Shovel Knight either if I like am determined I'll spend a lot of time trying to get good at a game and figure it out but if it's off the bat difficult for me and not rewarding in any sense then I'm like okay yeah no oh Shovel Knight we had it on our 3DS I think because me and my sibling shared a 3DS which I think we technically still do share for the record <laughs> even if they don't live in the same house anymore we do share that thing and that's our burden to bear um, but, yeah, they were actually good at it, and I was just awful. Yeah, I managed- Hades was one that I managed to actually do well with. And that's mainly because it was one of those ones where it was like, you keep discovering new things in it, even if you're not getting past and making, like, linear game progress. You're still making some kind of progress by, like, learning things about the characters and all that. It doesn't make you feel like, oh, well, I'm not accomplishing anything here. In that case, it's like, oh, sweet, I'm learning more and I'm not, and they're giving me tips and I have an option to make it easier if I want to, but I won't because I'm stubborn. <laughs> um, and so then, like, I went from, like, 30 runs in Hades not beating the first boss to now having 600 hours in it and, like, be, and, like would play. I was going to play it on hell mode. And then I ended up losing the, um, one of the files, one of the video files of the VOD. So I might have to restart if I ever try and actually do the hell mode run again. Because I did miss, like, literally half of the content I had done so far because I'd only done two streams. And one of the VODs was the only VOD I managed to lose. Because it, like, corrupted uploading to YouTube, but I had already deleted and fully, like, emptied my recycling off my computer because I was too busy trying to empty up um, space for a game that I still have not been able to play. Because Genshin Impact takes so much storage. And it's like, I don't, I don't. At this point, it's like the shame of having to delete all of my things to be able to play Genshin Impact is too much. I can't play it. I can't face this. Even if you do have extra new things for my boy Chong Yun. <laughs> Which, I have- I delete a lot of things. I delete a lot of good reaction images. All of my memes. A lot of good ones. I delete like, a couple thousand screenshots, because I didn't need them anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been, like, trying to upload- like, I'm very basic, so I'll just upload a VOD. Like, I've been uploading literally all of my VODs to YouTube, aside from the hardcore ones so far, because I need to figure out how I'm going to format the, um, like, description and all that, but all the godling VODs and everything, because this is called the godling SMP or whatever. Those I've been uploading, and I just get so annoyed because I've been copyright striked. Not- well, it's not- like, it's a copyright strike claim, not a strike, so it's not, like, the biggest deal in the world. Like, I could just mute it, but it's so annoying to be like, I thought it was fine to do this, but I didn't know because I'm a uh, fool. And then it's just like, oh yeah, you played Minecraft music while you're playing Minecraft. You better not. And then I'm just too lazy to, like, go and either get permission and do the thing, or just mute that part of the VOD and make people suffer. Especially because if I mute the VOD, then essentially, like, I will not remember whatever I said at that point. So it could have been something incredibly important or cool, and then I just won't remember. Oh my god. Oh, hello, Enderman! We've uncovered you. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to cover you up again. No mercy. Oh yeah, I can put away all of my stone building things and put- and grab all of my terraforming stuff instead. Yeah, that Enderman just lives there. I uncovered a cave and was like, wow, okay. I guess this is a problem I have to deal with. And then I decided to promptly not deal with it. Like, I covered up parts of the cave and then was like, yep, I'm done here. And then covered up the Enderman because he refused to move. And that's what happens when you refuse to move. You face consequences for your actions. 
Sometimes you just vibe. Just simply vibing. Okay, okay. I need to, like, throw- okay. I don't need this. I don't need- well, I do need this. I don't need this, or this, or this, or this. I might need that. Um, I have so many tools all the time. I keep so much on me. Um, some white concrete powder, light gray, gravel, a little bit of stone still, I guess. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna hang some of the soul lanterns. I'm thinking I'd hang them from the ribs in themselves. I was gonna hang them from the sea lanterns, but I've decided maybe the ribs themselves might be better. Okay, I wanna put this in at least colored order or I'll lose my mind. <laughs> and I don't have my hoe on me, of course. This is the life I must live. Um... Dirt. I'm mostly gonna do this in patches, I'm thinking. Like, in trying to make at least the color gradient at least a little bit make sense. Because I kind of have had a rule a bit of having it be like, this will always border um, these two, and then white always goes only on this side, like... Oh, that looks like a pattern. Okay. Pain. So instead, I've just been playing um, Undertale remixes by Vetrom, because also it will randomly shuffle to like Dang and Rompa remixes and then um, some other good ones. I think there's some Pokemon and Genshin ones as well. They're very good at what they do, that Vetrom. They're also, I think, on um, Spotify as well. So that's sick. At one point, I think I, like, would just listen to their remixes, and I was like, wow, cool, I'm not, uh... Liter I'm literally not listening to, like, anything but remixes of music I've already heard. This is very accomplishing literally anything of substance, I swear. Okay, I'll need to make this at least a little bit rounded, so that it doesn't look fully, like, garbo. Okay, that's good, and then... I ended up using gray just because that was literally the only option I had. Like, I was looking through all my extra wool in my chest, and I was like, well, there's gray, so I don't want to bother wasting time and making, um, more things that I have to deal with, with light gray carpet or something. I do enjoy building with concrete powder, but it's always the worry that I'm just like, oh god, what if someone... What if they pour water on it? What if they tried an MLG bucket clutch and I lose my mind? And then literally just, like, announce war on them for doing such a thing to me. Because I would. I've been tempted to announce war on, um... There's the Ender Meadows, and I've been I was tempted to be like, Hey, control your people, because the Endermen just kept ruining my terraforming. And I was like, please, have mercy. Control your people. I can't handle this. Please. But... I decided against declaring war because I am one person. I am not a part of any of the factions we have, like Nitriteberg or Ender Meadows or um, any of the other ones. Which, technically, I guess I am a part of Elysium, because Elysium is the main um, spawn area, which is where I put all those community builds. But that's just kind of by default. I guess I technically kind of count as a leader there. But that's primarily because I'm the main person who actually lives there and and contributes to the, like, community stuff in the area. But, yeah, I'm not as a uh, part of the actual lore, technically. But that's primarily because it's just, it just hasn't come up, and my character has, like, the benefit of laying low and being chill. Primarily because I made him, like, super old. So he's like centuries old and he's like content with just vibing for as long as he needs. Cause to him it's like, yeah, this is fine. Meanwhile, there are some characters like someone's a literal possum and it's like, yeah, they're three years old, they're gonna die. They're three, help. 
And then my character's like, yeah, I'm uncountably old. I don't remember and I don't exactly notice that much of how old everything is and how old I technically am. I just vibe and go from place to place. And then I finally decide to settle here and then things start, sh like shit starts hitting the fan and I'm like, well, what can you do about it? Sometimes it just happens like that. And the only reason I probably would have, my character probably would have intervened would be if someone was like, I am the ultimate king, I need to, yeah. Oh, to just vibe, yeah. That's how my character knows so much. That's why my character is a smartass who knows too much about Minecraft, because they were spending years just on their own vibing in the wilderness, so then they learned, like, how things work. Other than that, they'd be clueless. But my character generally, like, is pretty okay with all the factions, too, because I haven't done anything but help them, really. Like, contributing resources if they want them, not, like, barring them from areas where I'm making, like, community things. But, I don't know. As long as, as long as no one's out here being like, yep, I'm the ultimate ruler of everything and all of you now have to listen to me, then we're fine. Because my character does not like someone who's like, I am in an authority and so now that's your problem. But, so, like, at first they were like, he was just super, um, anxious about uh, the whole presidency thing in Nitriteberg and like Murr and Polly. Even though like for some reason they let non Nitriteberg citizens vote so then he did vote and he voted for I think Polly because of the cute little like tagline of like friend 2020 I think it was friend 2021. <laughs> but like if things had gone bad with that and they had like actually like tried to control things or even especially encroached on um, Elysium Ooh, Spiral would have gotten involved, TM. <laughs> Spiral is not a fan of things like people trying to get up in his shit and tell him what to do, especially if they're like using authority as a way to do that and using that as an excuse for people to listen to them. But that's just because of his own super unique, cool, uh, sad guy backstory. As you do. Sometimes you're just a super epic, uh, sad guy. He already has, like, a basically a sad origin story on the server also, because of, um, my son glitching out of existence, as you do. Sometimes your son just glitches out of existence. And even God can't find him, and it's like, okay. Okay, cool, great, we love it here. Um, I'm not gonna have any lasting issues from that in character <laughs> this could this could have no possible repercussions on my character I said lying so my character was like super like sus of like Polly and Murr and then it's just Polly and Murr who are just like chill and nice and like do trying their best TM so then my character was just like, okay, yeah, this is fine. Oh my god, the crack theory, the crack theory. I already have- oh my gosh, wait. But wait. Hmm. No, I already have a going idea. Hmm. That is an interesting idea. Like, imagine, like, somehow my character only knows all of this because of a bunch of people telling him. But currently his backstory is literally, like, kind of basic bitch of, like, used to be, like, in a kingdom and then things went to shit, so then he ended up on his own. But aside from that, I have, like, some ideas, but literally, like, he was just kind of vibing TM and not feeling great about it and then was, like, is this what free will is? And then proceeded to fuck off and hang out for like several centuries. <laughs> it was like, cool. We love free will. I do have some ideas already for what Hardcore Spiral, who still needs a name, which I've been thinking of looking up some name concepts. It might be interesting to give them some kind of name. Like, you know how like, what was it? 
like on the Oregon Trail and that kind of era of shit, like American people would name their kids like virtues that they wanted their children to have. So then there would be, I think at one point I read one where I read this story where someone's name was like Prudence or whatever, because they wanted that virtue for them and things like mercy and like all these kinds of things are like, it seems like some of them might be hippie-ish now, but like at the time it was like, ah yes, a good uh, child bestowing upon them hopefully good values or whatever. But like, it might be interesting to pick one of those kinds of names where it's like a good value that my character wants to have or emulate. Because, ooh boy, that can hurt them later. Ooh boy, especially if they choose that for themselves. Which, I've been looking at pronouns for that character as well, and I think I've picked some. But I don't know. Oh. Yeah, ah yes, the angst. The inevitable angst. This is what happens. I am given a character and I simply cannot resist torturing them. Like, even- God, my old OCs were tortured to hell and back, and like, they did not deserve that man. That's what happens when you're someone's OC while they're in high school. You do not get what you deserve. Almost as bad as if you're their OC when they're in middle school. Then you, like, literally just die. Hmm. I- yeah, definitely want more gravel. I'll- I'll be adding more variation to this. I'm just, like, trying to get at least some basic things down so I don't lose my mind. Like, oh god, it's all dirt. But the inevitable angst. We cannot stop these things. I am not immune to angst. But yeah, that, that character really does just go through it, TM. Currently, he's- they're having a great time. I- I- well, I'm like switching between pronouns because I'm just like, I- I picked one neo pronoun and I'm planning on keeping only neo pronouns, but then I'm just like, I don't know. Because I'm too used to like referring to- sometimes I refer to my character on Godling SMP with they them pronouns and I'm like, wait, no, they use my pronouns and I don't use they them. <laughs> my character is picking up more pronouns than me. Competing. He, they's attack. My character at me. My character is signed pronouns to me. And I'm like, okay. Oh god. Did not think I was gonna start that. Um, but yeah, they really just go through it. But currently they're having a pretty good time. So far. They're not having the worst time of it, and they could- they could be doing worse. It's very funny when people just stop by on the hardcore stream, because in character, that's literally just my character here, is someone go, Hello? And then they say hi back, and then no one responds. And they're like, okay! <laughs> it's very eerie to just, like, out of nowhere hear, Hello? And then nothing after that. But it's very funny to be like, ah yes, I have heard this, and I do not know what to do with it. It would be a very funny theory if Hardcore Spiral and uh, Godling SMP Spiral were the same character, though. It's just like, yeah, I just live like this, it sucks. And then promptly, like meets people and is like, wow, this doesn't suck, actually. And also, this is way easier, because this is on easy mode. <laughs> I need to at least fill in the path blocks, because I hate that path blocks, like, fill it, like, show the tiny bit. But of course, it looks great on some things, and I'm like, ugh, I don't need this. I don't need this kind of treatment from this right now. Path blocks, literally, I- if path blocks weren't in the game, I would be happy. I would be fine with that. I would literally not care. Like, I usually love literally every feature of Minecraft that has to offer because I love Minecraft to, like, an extreme extent. But in this case, I'm like, no, get rid of it, I don't care. 
Usually literally any feature I'd be like, no, that's my beloved. If you get rid of them, get rid of me too. Which reminds me, I need to check um, Exumavoid's update videos because there have been some things apparently with Shulk. I think the Skulk stuff, not Shulk, Skulk stuff maybe? And some like bug fixes because it's very fun. There were some very funny bugs. Um, the frogs eating goats on accident. And sometimes they would eat the player and then the player would like crash or something on bedrock maybe. I think that was what was happening. Which is hilarious. And also like, oh my god, imagine if that had not been noticed until it just like was in the game. And it's like, here's your new update. And everyone's like, yeah! And then they get eaten by a frog and they're like, wow, okay. That's the story of how you get isekai into Minecraft. You get eaten by a frog. And then suddenly they're, you're just like, oh god. Why are my hands all blocky? Oh no. Okay, I can fit this, actually. Um... Here, this can go here. I'm very excited about the new updates and everything, but that's just because I'm very excited all the time about Minecraft and what it has to offer. Because it's literally just one of the best games ever made. And like, I will, I will die on that hill. It's one of the best games ever made. But that's just because I like, love Minecraft so much. But that's just because, you know, the special interest TM. Cannot stop. Will not. Oh my god. I hate working with gravity blocks. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it. I'm on the edge. Oh yeah, I think I forgot. I was gonna say something like my character fully didn't trust like Polly and Murr and then just like saw them like vibing and was like, yeah, no, they're good actually. They're fine. They obviously aren't like some kind of corrupt like entity. They're just vibing. And like trying their best and not doing the best job at it, but still trying. Not that my character could literally do any better in a leadership position, but that's mostly because my character is like very much wanting everyone to be happy, even if he knows that it's like not the best. Like, not everyone wants what, like, even if it's for the good of everyone, it's not going to be what they want. And it's not going to be fair to just dictate whatever, like, this is going to make you happy, so we're going to do this or whatever. You know? Like, my character would very much be like, yeah, this is um, the best course of action. And everyone would be like, hey, it's not. And then he'd be like, but why'd you put me in charge if it's not? I don't. And then just, like, promptly, like, give up. <laughs> Which is partially, like, there's a post-apocalypse AU. And my character is basically just, like, an adult who's like, I, I guess I, and like refusing to be in charge. We love the post-apocalyptic AU. But yeah, my character is just, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to really just be in character as much, technically. Though I have done many things that are just kind of like method technically like in character like never eating meat at one point and then at this point still just refusing to eat um, meat just because they got too used to it. And that's because like at the time it was like a whole thing TM with the, the, the sun that eventually goes missing and what have you. But you know that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes sons go missing, and you stick by those ideals that they incidentally instilled in you. No matter how painful it is. And that's just how it be. Is YouTube really bothering me again? YouTube's like, are you sure you're still listening? It's like, please. Have... Please. Have mercy. I just want to listen to music. Please, TM.
there. Because YouTube decided to try and mess with me, we're now trapping YouTube in uh, Danganronpa Remix Hell, which is basically every kind of hell. This song does slap, though, even though it is the one that accompanies always the most heartbreak. We love to hear it. Just a little bit of heartbreak. I Do I have... Yeah, I've got a bunch of white concrete powder that I didn't intend to make, but I always forget how much concrete concrete powder makes when you try and use the recipe. So then I was just like, well, I live like this now. We are cat jamming in the club right now. Cat jam. TM. I think I did, like, I did choose some better Twitch TV emotes. I don't remember any of them, gonna be real. But that's just, like, I can't expect any better from me. I won't remember anything. Which reminds me of something I forgot to do. <laughs> Saying that. Love to do that to myself. Just being like, oh yeah, hey dipshit. Remember this very easy to remember thing that you forgot to do because you were too lazy to do it at one point and then just decided, oh, I'll remember to do it later and then promptly did not TM. That's just how my life is. Do I have more? I don't think I have more concrete powder, huh? No, I do. Sweet. I don't need this. I'll take this. Oh, my neck. Oof. Whenever I, pro I pop, like, my knuckles or, like, crack my neck or something on the stream, assume it's, like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Oh, my God. I fell earlier today on my knee. I was being a dumbass, and, like, because I keep... Like, now that I'm downstairs in this room, like, hanging out mostly because, like, first of all, I do my homework down here much easier because it's less of my clutter right in my face, but also because it's just, like, I don't know. I also can, like, record or stream better down here because it sounds better and also I don't have to worry about whatever's happening upstairs mostly. Like, sometimes I worry that if it's, like, particularly loud upstairs, you'll hear it, but I don't think it's actually been coming through, even if I do sometimes, like, I don't know. Oh, fuck, box 16. Box 16 really does it to you, huh? It's investigation time, as you do. Really, like, they had no right making the songs in Danganronpa so fucking good. Like, it fucking... Awful, awful game, awful franchise, and yet still. Um. Yeah, I fell like right hard on my knee earlier, and I was like, oh, sweet, I'm the dumbass that just did this, and then complained about it, and uh, I think Sneak Snack Chat, and they were like, are you okay? Because Sneak Snack Chat is based. I was there, like, all day today on stream, on his stream. Though sometimes I spent a few hours, like, not hours, but, like, a few minutes, like, not looking, and then they would start a different bit, and I'm like, oh god, oh god, what's the drastically confusing bit this time? Guys. At one point we started a bit where we were all offline, and we were like, oh yes, this is great, offliners. We're all having a great time. And then he was just like, listen. Do you count as monsters? You better not. Do you guys really count as monsters? Is there something else that counts as monsters around? I don't think so. Okay. Sneak chat is literally, like, goals for how you'd want a chat to be on, like, a Twitch stream. I 
I'd probably do something like that. Like, it'd be hilarious to have some kind of chat like that, but I can't imagine myself being able to keep up the, um, energy that Sneak probably needs to control a chat like that, you know? Which is very admirable, because I barely have the energy to do literally anything, let alone stream. That's just how it be, though. I'm caving, I'm caving, I'm getting- I'm- I'm caving, I'm a wreck. I'm gonna get more light gray wool because this is much easier to make carpet out of and will work better. Uh, pain, 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 suffering even. Where? There it is. Do I have torches in here? I usually end up keeping torches in here, but right now it's just lanterns and soul. Like, this does look like a junk chest. This was the first chest I ever had, so I just keep it. And then this is wood. This is natural plant things. And then this is all my extra things. So I usually keep food, extra arrows, extra ender pearls, and then sometimes some extra fireworks that I use for a firework launcher. And then like nether stuff, all the stone variant things. This used to be like all dyes and then it became all redstone. Now it's just a mix. This used to be all dirt, but then it's got some other things as well. Um, stone, cobblestone. This one's all quartz, and then it also has my cobwebs, which I need to grab more at some point. Gravel. And then this has obsidian, rails, and redstone, and bones, because that's a, a sensical combination ever, ever made. Truly. This is just some, like, random armor that I pick up at some point, and then I just like putting it on a, like, armor stand and dressing it up. It's funny. To just be like, yeah, here's my garbage. I put it on display. I used to have a full set of netherite here, but then I decided, like, yeah, no, that's gonna get stolen. At one point, I did have a full set of netherite stolen, which was cringe. Because it wasn't, like, in lore or anything. It was just someone who eventually got uh, banned for stealing, you know? As you do. Because you're a cringe lord. I think, he, I think they were, like, I don't know, a young teenager, so I don't blame them. Oh yeah, this is my beloved, uh, Clairvoyance. She goes by Claire. She's a little, little baby. A little darling sh pink sheet, natural pink sheet that we dragged a couple thousand blocks here. And then this is Pyrus, who I saved from the nether. Like, he was playing with a waterfall, but a lava fall, I mean. But, like, kept, like, falling in and out of it and getting cold. And I was like, no, poor baby. Because I am overly empathetic to literally anything I find ever. Like, I have moments of being like, yeah, I couldn't care less about this, but then sometimes I find something and it strikes me at the right time where I'm like, wow, I am adopting you as my son, and I'm gonna cry. And that's just how it is. Uh, I hate being down here now because you can hear that um, baby zombie piglin from there. And it used to be that you could hear it from down there because that was where um, my, like, son was. And then now there's just a random one that's over here. And keeps startling me, thinking that it's my son. And now they've got a name, so I can't kill them. <sighs> Pain. I love being constantly reminded of my missing, presumed dead children. It's really my favorite thing. Actually. Okay, what is it this time? Oh, no, that's... V3 had some good songs, like, Scrum Debate's pretty okay, but... You know, it's never gonna be as good. Here we go. You'll love to see it. Oh, that does look good. All my other plans for that archway were garbage. That looks good as hell. Here, let's have my torches in this so I can do this.
pain, suffering even. I don't want this, I want this, and I want this. Thank you. We vibing, we vibing. Um, I want this to be here, and then I can put one of these here. This is a thing I really wanted to do like off stream mostly because I figured I'd be like brain dead trying to figure it out and then like pick the pattern and then like just be like yep yep I placed the block I placed the block like silently doing it which I am doing right now of course but it's just like that's how it be you just place the block especially once you like figure out a pattern and like have an idea concept to use. But, you know, sometimes you just actually gotta do it on stream so that you actually do the darn thing, apparently. Because otherwise I would just sit here and be like, well, but I could stream instead. And then I'd end up streaming um, more hardcore, which is fun to do, but a bit, I don't know, a bit more, like, difficult to handle in general. debate scrum really did not have to hit that hard and then of course they had the gall to make like have no beat drop in the actual song in the actual game because they're cowards apparently like they are cowards they're awful we hate spike chuns off and what they do to those off those characters like they just literally are like here are some of the most complex and compelling characters you're ever gonna see we're gonna like literally make them one-dimensional and awful though and you're gonna just have to suffer and find like the three good pieces of fan content that actually respect them as people as opposed to continuing to portray them as one dimensional characters of something. And it's like cool, 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 love it here, cool, thanks, thanks Spike Chunsoft, thanks. Hate it here. Mostly good so far, I think. I want to hold this back so this is fine being grass but over here I might have it um be a bit less grass you know grass a bit less of it you know mm, like right here definitely is this I don't remember for the life of me like, I'm not going to remember even basic things. This is not going to be a shock to anyone. The prime path is going to pass right over this, but it's fine. I don't really care.
This looks so good, actually, I've decided. I've made the executive decision. This is good. I've executed the concept I wanted beautifully. What is it now? Uh, now it's just trying to give me... Um, no, I want anything else, please? No. Here. Some cringe-ass nene clown shit. Let's bring some tough. I don't need this. No. Love it when it does that. Um, tough, stone, gravel's fine, but I want, um, some andesite, um, all of these, but not horn, not fire, fire, I mean, and this is fine, but I don't need this, and that's fine. Let's see, is this still lit up? Whoa, I did not expect that to load in like that. I thought it was loaded in. This is not lit up. I hate 1.17 lighting now that I've been used to 1.18 lighting. I'm just like spoiled. I'm like, no, no, don't give me, give me back my, my easy, please give it back, hand it back, hand it over. Um, I deserve nothing better. Hmm. Oh yeah, cat update. Pandora's continuing to be a tyrant. She slept all afternoon and all currently and like all evening and everything. She's just a mess. She's still sleeping. Like on the corner of a blanket. She's just been like rolling subtly and slowly across that blanket. And I've spent some time with her and she'll not stop licking my hand when she does it. But she hasn't been all zoomy and like, you have to pay attention to me now, as she usually ends up doing. But she is a menace. She only decides to do it when she knows I'm streaming the hardcore one where I don't want to break character. Because she's a menace and she knows what she's doing and is pointed and targeted. And I know this as a fact. <laughs> this is a lie. But. Um. Hmm. I need to put this over here, please. This will go here, and then I think this will go like here, and then here, and then another here, and then oh, maybe I can andesite here and tough here. Some tough in areas would be good. This one I'll mostly put tough, and then I'll put a little bit of, and then I'll put a little bit right here as well. I have a vision, and I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish it, but I do have one. Like this, and then I've got this, and then I've got this. And there's just little patches that are a bit rockier, especially because, like, around here, you're going to end up with... And these have a bit more like smaller noise to them over here as opposed to this which is more like cobblestone and the other one which is more like inverted cobblestone kind of at least texture wise in my brain why is there a skeleton where did you come from bro okay if you're just gonna vibe I guess and die okay guess I'll die
The horn coral kind of does look like the texture of a pineapple. A little bit. Like if I the most pineapple adjacent block is the horn coral. Horn coral block at least. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna make little trees or something. Let's see. Let's try and make one. Here, maybe we can use the um fire one, because I haven't used that. Would it be fine to use some of this here? Yeah, I think so. I'll, I'll finish this and then I'll get to that. And this is kind of like extra rocks on the edges, if that makes sense. Oh, hatred, hatred. I just want, I just want, please, just give me the things I want. Is that too much to ask? Simply just the things I want? Dare I say the things I deserve? I love placing blocks. It's my favorite pastime, in fact. Placing blocks is my passion. Okay, so I have a concept in my brain. Much like many other ideas I have, I have a concept. Okay, 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 okay. I want fire coral and I don't want any of these. In fact, I want the opposite of these. I want these. I'm going to make some kind of custom tree out of, I don't know, something. They might- I'm pointedly going to make them not, like- oh my god. 
I hate tossing the wrong thing. Um, I don't need this. I need this. Is that everything? Is that? You don't need this and this, and you don't need this. Let me try and make some kind of tree or something right here. See, that's that's probably one of the most bark-like ones. Gonna be real. I love, I love this. This is my favorite part of building, actually. That's a lie. Um, so I want... Losing it. I hate it here, actually. I've decided I hate it here. I just want a little baby tree. It looks so chunky though. I don't need these right now. Hmm.
This is kind of a tree now. It's kind of a tree. Oh god, I want scaffolding so fucking bad. I can't. I'm losing my mind. I need my scaffolding. I think once I finish up with this tree, which will mostly be um, placing a lot of these fans and what have you on them, I'm... I might end, but it's a very good tree. Maybe I'll hang soul lanterns from it and it'll look sick. Or I might just hang chains from it and it'll look like drooping like branches or, or like sticks. Who knows? Oh, the power of scaffolding. Oh god, it's so sexy. Who allowed this? Who did this? Who did this? I'll kiss them directly on the mouth in the most platonic of fashions. Okay, I want... Okay, so this is the coral. I want the coral and then I want the fans, okay? I want to be able to look and know what is what. Do I want... Hmm, brain coral... Oh, it looks so dead. I love it, actually. Never mind, I changed my mind. I don't- any reservation is gone. I love this. And like, I'm aware, I spent so long and I might accidentally break some. I don't care, it's fun. I'm just building. And the fans. Oh yeah, I can put these on top, huh? Okay. I want not that, but this one and this one are the only ones that really fit my idea.
That's kind of a tree. I'm gonna be real. It's as close to a tree made out of dead coral that I think I might be able to get. Pretty sick. Pretty sick, actually. And then with these hanging down, maybe it'll just be some have, like this one won't. But it's probably spawnable on top, huh? I can't exactly cover... I'm sure these spaces are probably spawnable with the guy on top anyway. But I might just leave some, um... Yeah, these are definitely spawnable. Let's see, what if I just put that there? Then this is, yep, still spawnable. I hate it here, I hate it. I hate 1.17 now. Well, this being spawnable is uh, no longer my problem, I've decided. It looks sick and that's all I want from it. And there's gonna be just skeleton horses roaming around. Sick as hell. Oh yeah, this is... Huh, maybe I'll just... here. Boop. Boop. There. Whatever. Well. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be it. I am losing my mind. Ugh. But it was very good. We made a tree and we made a whole area. And we brought some of our horsies over. And we did some sick talking about everything. But yeah, that'll be, that'll be definitely it. I am losing my mind. Two hours is good, though. Two hours is a good stream. Uh, see you void and see you chaos. Well, I'll probably talk to you chaos still, because, uh, I'll be awake for a while. I'm a mess. <laughs> but yeah. See ya.